I'm going to teach you guys how to take smoked tuna and make the most insane tuna salad sandwich ever, a smoked tuna tuna melt. Just saying it gives me goosebumps. My name is Yanni, this is Fisherman's Belly, and if you're wondering why in God's name am I making a tuna salad sandwich now, I'll tell you why. This weekend, rockfish season opens in SoCal. I went running to my freezer to make some room, and I found a half a pound chunk of some smoked tuna that I made a few months back. So I've got to do something with this. And I thought in my childhood, the very first time I ate a tuna melt, it was in my junior high school in the cafeteria. The soft, gooey cheese, the crusty, buttery bread, the tuna, even though it was canned tuna, the tuna was just warm, all warmed up in that sandwich. It was just insane. I'm telling you, gang, I can create a super duper tuna salad sandwich with, with this smoked tuna that's just going to blow your mind. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is, believe it or not, we're going to shred this tuna with a fork. So check this out. Okay, all done. Oh my God, okay. I'm going to designate this as my official bowl of love today. So let's get everything in here. Next, a couple of stalks of green onions. Okay, that's it for the green onions. And they go into the bowl of love. All right, so now it's time for this fresh dill right from my garden. A fine chop. And now that is going to go into the bowl of love. There we go. And here is today's surprise ingredient. Pepperoncini, sliced up, pickled pepperoncini. I'm telling you, I grew up with these being Greek. They just add a wonderful acidic bite to any dish that you add them to, and it's just going to be perfect in this tuna salad. So check this out. We're going to need about two tablespoons of pepperoncinis. They're already sliced up. Check this out. There's one. And there's two. Oh boy. And then I'm going to use a tablespoon of the pepperoncini pickling juice, or the vinegar. There we go. And speaking of acids and, and vinegars, I'm also going to add a half a lemon. I'm going to juice half a lemon. Here we go. This is going to add a wonderful brightness and complement this vinegar and the pepperoncinis. And now for about three, maybe four tablespoons of mayo. One. Two. And here's the fourth tablespoon of this mayo into the bowl of love. Mm. Okay, it's time to add some salt and pepper. The pepperoncinis are a little on the salty side. The smoked tuna, a little on the, on the salty side. So I'm going to add a very small amount of salt. I'm going to mix this all up and then I'm going to retaste. All right, I don't want to over salt this. Here we go. A little bit of kosher salt, just enough. And then some cracked black pepper. Perfect. All right, let's do some mixing here. What's key here is I don't want this runny, right? Because it's gonna go in the front, it's gonna be sandwiched in between two pieces of bread and some cheese, and it's gonna go in the frying pan. The last thing in the world I want is for my tuna salad to be on the runny side, because it'll just make a, it'll make an incredible mess all over the place. So I've gotta keep an eye on the overall texture. I want enough mayonnaise in there to keep everything together, but I don't want it runny. And remember, we added some lemon juice and some prick, pepperoncini juice, so we gotta keep an eye on it. Check this out. Wow, now that's perfect, look at that. With a half a pound of smoked tuna. So we're done mixing and this is gonna go in the refrigerator, but first, we have to do a taste test. I need to see if this is gonna be okay. I'm tasting for saltiness and I'm tasting for acidity. Right? I've gotta have just the right amount of acidity that's gonna to wanna to keep me coming back and just the right amount of saltiness 
so that all the flavors are sharp and in focus. Mmm. Perfect. We're in there. All right, gang, so let's talk a little bit about the bread. So, you know, ultimately, what we're gonna do is we're gonna stuff this bread with our tuna salad, we're gonna put some cheddar cheese on both sides, we're gonna put it together and put it in the frying pan, right? And give it some golden color on the outside. But what about the inside? The inside of the bread is still gonna be soft. And I'll tell you what, what's going on is this sandwich is nothing but softness all over the place. And we're looking for the bread for some textural contrast. So I want my bread to be a little bit crunchy because there's nothing else in the sandwich that's crunchy. I'm gonna toast the bread. I'm not gonna over toast it, but I'm gonna toast the bread to give it just a little more texture. So here we go. All right gang, so now it's time to start to melt the butter in a frying pan. And this is actually a very important step. We're gonna melt our butter over a very low to medium flame, all right? Because we want the butter to start to bubble and not to go brown and burn. And that's when we'll put our sandwich in the frying pan. And that'll take a few minutes, so we'll do this now before we assemble the sandwich. So, check this out. First the flame. Okay, so we want it to be medium low. Perfect. Okay, and then I'm gonna cut about a tablespoon of butter. Fellas, don't skimp on the butter, don't use margarine. We don't use butter a lot in our cooking, but when we do, let's enjoy it, okay? So, a tablespoon of real, unsalted real butter. There we go. Okay, all right, so we're gonna let this melt, and let's go assemble the sandwich. Okay, here's our bread. And here's some cheddar cheese. Nice thick slices from your local deli right here. Boom. Look at that. Fits just perfect on this ciabatta. And there, okay? And now remember our tuna from the refrigerator? I figure this half pound of smoked tuna will probably give us anywhere from two to three sandwiches. But if you really want to be a piggy, you can make one giant sandwich and just never tell anybody. Oh my God, look at that. Oh. One dollop, and there's another. Oh, just like that. All right, the butter looks perfect. It's not overburned, and it's look like it looks like it's just bubbling perfect. Here we go, right there. Okay, so now our sandwich is sitting in the frying pan in that bubbly butter, and believe it or not, I'm gonna put a lid on this, and that way I'm gonna help ensure that all my cheese gets melted. And then I'm going to keep an eye on the bottom of the bread on, that's sitting in the, in the butter on the frying pan. I'm going to look out for a nice golden brown color. And when that happens, I know it'll be time to flip it. Okay, it's been about three or four minutes. Let's check this out. The bottom of our bread is starting to get nice and brown. Like this. We are done. The top half is nice and golden brown as well. So let's plate this thing. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. All right, so here you guys have it. The ultimate tuna salad sandwich. Smoked tuna, tuna milk. Oh my God. The smoke from the tuna is gonna permeate this whole sandwich. Believe me, you will not believe it as soon as you take your first bite. And I remember my first bite back in junior high school and it was made from a can of tuna. And for all you non-fishermen out there who don't have access to tuna like we do, go out and get yourself a can and make this recipe. You won't be disappointed. Also, for fishermen out there who, who don't know how to smoke their own tuna, right up here I've got a great link on the ABCs of smoking tuna. I want to thank you guys for spending time with me today. Again, my name is Yanni. This is Fisherman's Belly. And we'll see you guys on the next one or as soon as I'm done eating this. Oh my God. Take care.